Hello, we're here at the Rotary Peace Forum in Berlin again. Uh, it's at the very end of the conference, and I have a very special guest with us uh, today, uh, Eva Brodel, who uh, is, a is a Rotarian, but has the particular distinction of being a member of the first ever e-club that was formed in the United States. And since I'm a member of the uh, e-club Berlin Global, it's a particular pleasure to be talking to her. Uh, Hello. Nice to see you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Before we get on to the e-club, tell us about the, the Rotary Peace Forum. Did it please you today? I really like the, the Peace Forum because uh, we had the chance to listen to some really, really good um, uh, speakers and to learn why peace through service actually works. Some of the aspects I, I didn't know um, were brought there and um, it's also a nice forum to meet people and to interact with other Rotarians. On the eClub dimension, uh, tell us a little bit about that. It's, it's a great interest to me because I think that eClubs point the way in many ways for the future of, of the Rotary, Rotary Clubs. There are not many in Germany, I think we have three now at the moment, but you were the member of the very first one that was ever established. Tell us about that. Well, in the beginning of the 2000s, um, Rotary decided to start a pilot program with 15, 16, 17 uh, Rotary e-clubs. And um, my club was the first one, Rotary e-club 1 in District 5450 in Denver, Colorado. And um, in 2010, the COL decided that um, the e-club model is not a pilot pro program anymore, but that, that it's possible to have two e-clubs in every district and I learned that the directors put forward a recommendation for the next COL um, to unlimit the number of e-clubs in any uh, district. That's very interesting and you're a member of this e-club but you're based in Germany presumably and you meet how often online? Well we meet once a week but we don't meet at the same time which is not possible because we have members from the US, from Germany, from Italy, Abu Dhabi, Japan, Philippines, Australia, from all over so we have truly all the time zones you can imagine yeah. so it's not possible to meet every week via Skype or a webinar. What we do is we have uh, three to four webinars which means for me coming from Central Europe um, that it's uh, from midnight to 2 a.m. on a Saturday night and um, so this explains why we cannot have it every week yeah. and we have one meeting every year and it's on Monday night at the, at the Rotary Convention and um, it's really nice because this makes our club to go to the convention so about always about a third sometimes even more of our members uh, come to the convention because it's our annual meeting there. I understand that. How many members have you got? We have about 70 members now. That's very good and from all over the world? From all over the world and from uh, 20 to 21, 22 to 85. All, all the ages. All the ages including um, including older people who you would not expect to be so closely associated with uh, an online club. That's right and it's also mixed. We have a lot of women and a lot of men so it's uh, truly diverse. And tell us about the projects in which you've been engaged in. Most of our projects um, we support them by fundraising. Um, you can go online as a, a Rotarian from a Terra Club can come to our club website and buy a virtual dinner um, after doing the makeup because they, they can spend half an hour on our website and then um, they send in uh, the application form to getting a makeup and um, after they can if they like they can donate a virtual dinner and with this money we do fundraising for uh, about 90% of the official Rotary International programs and in addition every single Rotarian in our club is asked to do local projects so for example when the Rotarians in my hometown and when they were collecting money for and polio now I went on the street with them um, on the other hand what we also do is in our clinic we collect classes from patients who need new classes because I explain that you're, you're a medical doctor is it yeah okay yeah I'm an ophthalmologist yeah. so when the the patient doesn't need the classes anymore um, they don't really know what to do with it and mostly they are very expensive to throw away so they donate them to me and I I brought the first set to India in April together with my brother and we're going back to India in February to bring the next lot there.
That's extremely impressive. And uh, you think that the eClub has added a new dimension to Rotary that it wasn't there before? Yes, yes, that's right. Because I think um, a lot of Rotarians from Terra Clubs think that a kind of competition is coming up, having the Rotary eClub model aside to the Terra Club or physical clubs. Um, I see it differently. I think it's an additional group of people that you can attract because a lot of young people, they still um, move a lot because they, they, are, they have to be flexible. Um, nowadays for their job. Um, sometimes uh, we, we have past district governors who joined our club because they cannot attend their meetings anymore because one of the partners is ill or there's various reasons why you can't, we cannot attend or we decided to at attend um, our Rotary e-club. And attending meetings of Rotary of a Rotary club is particularly important for Rotarians, of course. Yes, yes, of course. And um, wherever I go in the world, I try to visit the local Rotary Club. So uh, a lot of people say, yeah, but you only are virtual, you don't know each other, which is not true because I know my club members by the annual dinner and also by chatting with them online. And um, if we see the phenomenon of, of Facebook or Twitter and other social media, we know that nowadays uh, it is truly also a way to connect with friends and with other people. And I would like to add one thing, um, which most people don't know in the early 50s, um, Paul Harris had his first telephone conference. So this was probably more a re revolution yeah, 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 than uh, yeah. us having uh, Rotary e-clubs. I'm very glad you brought up that point because even in Germany now, in the, in the 21st century, sometimes you do get questions from people about how do you reconcile an online club with the requirement of fellowship and friendship that Rotary naturally embodies. But you think that that is not affected by that. In fact, it can actually in strengthen and enhance it. I think it's a different way. It's it's truly a different way. It's a new way. Uh, is it a better way? That I don't know. But I think it's, uh, for me at least, it's a good way. And one obvious advantage, of course, is that it does allow the club to be very international in its membership and its reach and its influence. Yes, that's true. Um, we have the advantage to learn about um, other countries, other cultures, um, how, how they interact, even on our webinars when we meet. Um, um, a German would do the um, conference probably a little different to someone from Australia or the US or uh, South America or wherever in the world and um, just by one webinar you can already learn so much. For those interested in, in an e-club, uh, what platform do you actually use uh, to communicate with each other? Um, our website is uh, was made. It's not a, a, a website that Rotary gave to us, but I think um, in the future they will work on uh, Rotary International will work on having a platform for all the e-clubs, so that I, I think it's a waste of resources that every Rotary e-club establishes a new website. That is not necessary. That is really. Um, but in terms of your online webinars, are you using a particular technology? It, it's a it's a question that may interest those who are thinking of establishing a an e-club. Oh, we actually use webinar. The, the you use the webinar uh, platform. My brother, who's past president in the Rotary London e-club, um, London e-club centenary, um, they they Skype every week. But that is possible for them because they are only from two time zones. Most yes. of them are from Great Britain. Some of them are from Central Europe and Africa, so they don't have to struggle with uh, plus and minus nine hours time differences. Yeah. Ava, thank you so much for your contribution. It's really interesting to hear about e-clubs. It's obviously a subject of great personal interest to us as one of the few e-clubs in Germany. And it's great to hear from someone who is in at the beginning and who really thinks this has added value to Rotary as uh, I think all e-club members believe that it should do. Many, many thanks. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you.